had a guy send me a text message earlier in the week. He wanted a mantle for his fireplace and he had seen one that I had cut several months ago and really liked it. Um, it was out of poplar and I have a, a pretty good sized stack of poplar logs sitting here and just pulled this one out. He wants it at uh, 70 inches long, four inches thick and 12 inches wide. So I'm gonna take the chainsaw and cut this log down to about 76, 78 inches. And that way he's got room to square it up and make it like he wants it and whittle it down to a four by 12 for him. So I made the decision when I put the tape measure on it to go ahead and cut it at a full eight, in, eight foot length. That way anything that is not utilized for the mantle, which will probably only be this section right here, I can use for whatever else. I'll probably end up cutting it into two by stock. Uh, might even leave, uh, leave it as wide as I can. That way it's, uh, you know, I can cut it down to two by sixes, two by eights, two by fours if I want to at a later time. So dad's pulling up with his new toy. Let's see what it's like. He's been wanting a new tractor for a long time. What do you think? <laughs> you gonna pick a log up with it? Sure. You can throw that one right there back on the stack. So Woodmiser advertises that their mills will saw up to a 32 inch log. And that's true, but until you understand this, if you get a mill, you'll be disappointed. So this scale goes up to 32 inches. You can raise your head up to that 32 inch mark. And I'll bring it up to show you what I mean. comes all the way up to 32 inches. So if that log has a diameter of 32 inches, it will make contact with it. The problem is, and this is not the wide version, so you know, bear, bear that in mind. The problem is the mouth on this blade only opens to about 20 inches. So the problem that you have with that round log is you actually lose some of that even 20 inches on that curvature right there. So from here to here is approximately 18 inches. From the roller to your roller is about 20 to 22 inches. If you square a cant up, you can generally get an 18 to 20 inch cut on it. But the problem comes when you're trying to get a 28 inch log whittled down to a cant. Not a big issue, you just need a chainsaw or you need a little fancier sawing technique. You could always flip this thing up another quarter and kind of octagon it, but it's simplest for me just to grab my chainsaw and cut out a wedge. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one.
once you have that wedge cut out, you can bring all of this down and work with the remainder here. So on these manual mills, something to be careful about when you're working that winch. This thing will come up all the way to these two pulleys. The problem is these cables put pressure on this U and push it down. This thing's designed to bring this cable out and use it to roll them onto the mill. If you're doing that regularly and putting a ton of pressure on this, it'll bend it downward and you won't be able to get your cable out from underneath the pulley on the lift arm here.
All right, we'll finish it up tomorrow.